Hi, it's Chelsea from Jimra. Today we're doing a Pilates booty routine to really lift and sculpt that booty. It's gonna be pretty fun, you don't need any equipment. We're gonna get started on our side. So come down, you can lean your left arm, left forearm right underneath you, shoulder stacked underneath, or shoulder stacked on top of the elbow. Bring your toes just to the front corner of the mat and we're just gonna start by put, putting our right foot, double tapping in the front and then lifting straight up, double tapping in the back. So it's up, double tap, up, double tap. And if you're like me, you're already probably starting to feel this. Just keep with your chest proud. We've got 10. And eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, bring that knee in. We're just gonna be kicking that right leg behind us and pulling it in. So kick behind, pull it in. Nice. Trying to keep your upper back straight. It's definitely gonna move around a little bit, but really trying to stabilize your core and get into that right glute. And nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four, I'm starting to feel it. Three, two, one. Nice. Bringing both knees in, putting your feet stacked on top of each other. We're just gonna open our right leg up and close it back down for a clam. And if you wanna use these moves on the go and watch a lot of these videos, you can download the, the Jimra app for free. All these moves are also available on the Jimra website for free. For five, and four, three, two, one. Slide down so that your elbow is on the ground, your arm's on the ground, your head is resting in your arm. You're gonna lift up both legs and see if now you can close the left leg up to the right one. You can use this right fingertips for balance. For 10 and 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let that go. Legs go straight back up, coming back onto the forearms. This time, right leg lifts up, left leg lifts up, and you're just going to scissor your legs back and forth. Trying to keep control. 15 more, and 10, five, four, three, two, one. Letting that go, nice. Last little thing on this side, right leg is gonna come up, left leg comes to meet it. You're bringing your knees in and kicking them back up. In and out, keep going. We're at 15, counting down. Using the right fingertips to hold you up. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, nice. Come up to a seated position, bringing your left knee in front. You can bring your fingertips on either side of this left leg. We're just swinging the right leg forward and back behind us and bent. So it's a forward movement, back behind us. And your chest can move along with this. You can also try to keep your chest and your fingertips off the mat. But we're really working into the glute and you'll feel this either way. So whatever way is more comfortable for you, for five, and four, I know this move is killer. Three, 
two, one, nice. Just hug that left, that right leg, bring it over the left and hug it in. <sighs> that was a lot of work down the right leg. Woo. Okay, we're gonna switch to the other side. One more hug of this leg in. And then bringing your right forearm down onto the mat. Legs go out in front, bring them up to the corner of your mat. Nice. From here, we're gonna be lifting this top leg. We're double tapping to the front and then lifting it straight up. Double tap to the back, straight up. Front and back. Trying to keep your chest proud. Neck in line. Here for 10 more. Make sure you're breathing. And four, three, two, and one. Nice, feet together, bringing your knees in. We're just lifting the left knee up and bringing it back down to meet the right. So your toes stay touching this whole time. Nice. Nice and controlled, already probably feeling it through that left glute. And three, two, one, letting your arm slide out, making a pillow with your hand, lifting your legs back up. This time the right leg comes to meet the left for clam. Definitely a little bit trickier of a move. 10 more, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Legs back out, come back onto your forearm. We've gotta do that move where we pull the knee in and kick the left leg behind us. Nice. Just working into that under spot of our glute now to get the lift. See if you can kick even higher up behind you. Nice, 10 more. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, nice. Left leg comes to meet the right. Re-engage through your core and your chest. Left leg comes up, right leg comes to meet it, and then we're swimming. So we're just kicking our feet back and forth, trying to stay engaged. 15, 10. Keeping your legs straight, toes are pointed. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice, let that come back down. Re-engage, pushing through that forearm. We're bringing our knees into our chest and kicking them out. Into our chest, kicking them out, good. So this is also getting into our abs here. It's kind of a full body workout, but we're focusing on pushing out the glutes, pulling in. For 10, and nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, nice. Let that right knee come down. Come up for a breath, you're doing so well. You can bring your fingertips on either side of that right knee. Sitting up straight, we're just bringing that left leg in front and back behind. So you're kicking it in front, bending it back behind. Again, if you wanna play with your balance here or only have one hand on the ground, that's fine. We're really trying to get into that left glute and it only takes about one of these to start to feel it. So keep it going for 10 and nine, nice and controlled. Eight, 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let that left leg come to cross over the right. Just give it a hug in. <sighs> nice, maybe hugging it a little deeper. Beautiful. All right, we're gonna try to come up to standing without using our hands. So I like to lean forward, my feet are crossed, coming all the way up to standing. If you can't come out without using your hands, it's not a big deal. We're gonna start here with our heels together and our toes pointing out in first position. Bring your shoulder blades down, your hands can be down in front of you or right in front. We're just gonna be kicking the right toe out and dragging the heel in. So it's kick and drag, kick and drag, kick and drag. Keep it going. For five and four, three, two, one. Now we're kicking forward, dragging back in. So it's a kick forward, drag back in. For five and four and three and two. It's a little movement really getting into those glutes. Now standing strong on the left leg, kicking behind you, pulling back in. For five and four and three and two and one. Okay, we're warmed up. So how this move works, we're going out to the front, around slowly to the back and pulling it through. So it's out to the front, around to the back, pulling that heel through. Nice and slow and controlled. You can always bring your hands overhead, bring them to your hips. Again, doesn't really matter what you do with your hands, you're focusing on the balance you're really gonna feel this down the left leg, the standing leg. For a three, and two, and one. Shake that out, shake that out a little bit here. Find yourself back in first position, kicking out to the back, around to the front, pulling that heel in. To the back, around to the front, pulling that heel in. It's definitely hard to balance. So trying to balance on that left foot Using your core. For three, and two, and one, nice. Let that go. Left side is going kicking out and pulling back in, and out and in. So you point with the toe, pull in with the heel. For five, and four, and three, two, one, kicking forward, pulling back in. Again, it's a little move, but it really works. Three, two, one. Kicking behind you, pulling back in for five, and four, and three, two, one. Now kicking forward, bringing that leg around and pulling the heel through. Nice. Nice and controlled. Again, you can do whatever you want with your hands here. You can even hold on to something if you'd like. Working into those glutes for three and two and one. Re-establishing your first position, pulling in your navel. Now we're kicking out behind, trying to come around to the front and bring it through. We're only here for 10 and nine. Oop. <laughs> if you lose your balance, just come back in. Standing strong on the right foot. And nine. And eight. And seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Little but powerful movements. One. All right, let that go. Feet back to first position. We're just coming down and up. And down and up for 15. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 
two, one. Letting your legs come back, we're bringing them to a wide leg squat. Our toes are pointing out. So first we're just squatting down and coming back up. Down and up. Using your glutes to push you back up to standing. Keeping your chest proud, your shoulders down and back. For five, and four, and three, two, one. Stay low and we're pulsing for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come to standing. Bring your hands up overhead for a little bit of a challenge. We're coming down. We're gonna lift our right heel up and pulse down for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Switching your heels, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Coming to standing. You can bring your hands wherever you like. I'm gonna bring mine out in front. Sinking down, now switching, lifting your right heel, then your left, and you're down pretty low into this squat. See if you can sink a little bit lower. And eight, seven, six, five, four, it's like a foot massage, three, two, one, nice, stand that up, shake it out a little bit. Last little bit with our legs out like this, sinking low, lifting both heels and dropping them back down for 10. And nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, hold them up, sit a little bit lower. Hold for 10, if you're shaking that's a good thing. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let that go. You can shake out your legs a little bit here. Bringing your arms wide, folding between your legs. Shaking out your glutes, letting your head go. Bending into your left knee a little bit. And bending into your right, bending to your left, bending to your right, shaking your head no and yes. Then just walk your hands to the front of your mat, step back into your plank pose, roll yourself forward and lower slowly all the way down onto your belly. Untuck your toes. You can bring your hands out in front of you. Make a little pillow with your palms and place your forehead onto your palms. We're gonna lift our right leg, toes are pointing out, and make little circles in one direction with that right foot. Nice. For 15, 12, 10, nine, five, four, three, two, one. Other direction. For 15, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let that go. Left leg comes up, circles in one direction. One, switching directions, just little circles with that toe. Trying to keep everything else stable. For 12, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Both feet down. We're gonna inhale our feet up and click our heels together for 20, 19, 18, 17, squeezing into your glutes, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 
six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, you're doing good. We've got one more little push like this. So head goes back down onto your hands, bending your feet so your feet can touch, your big toes can touch, lifting your legs up off the ground. We're kicking our feet out and bringing them back in for 10 and nine. Trying to keep your thighs just a little lifted off the ground. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Keeping this whole shape up, we're just lifting its little pulses up for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Letting that go. That is killer. It doesn't look like much, but I'm sure you felt it. Bring your feet in, just windshield wipe through them, side to side. Letting that all go. Ah, nice. Great work. All right, feet are back out in front of you, bringing your hands underneath you, pushing yourself up. You can lean back for a moment, stretching your glutes out. Just give them a little shake side to side here. Nice. And then we're gonna lean up, coming back onto our toes here. We're gonna take a breath, pulling our right knee in towards our face, stepping it up between our hands, keeping our fingertips framing that right foot, just dropping the left knee down to the ground and back up for 10 and nine and eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hands go back down, stepping the right foot back to meet the left. Left knee comes up, step it up between your hands, dropping your right knee down and up for 10 and nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hands back down, feet back together, lowering slowly back down. Now that we've had a little intermission, we're just gonna bring our hands back together, one palm on top of the other, forehead on the palm, lifting your feet up, open them all the way to the width of your mat and bring them back together for 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, keep going, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, letting that go, all right, coming back up with your legs, just kick them out, swimming for 20, 17, Keep it going, toes are pointed. 10, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Lower your legs, press your hands in. Stretch it back again. Just releasing your glutes. Oh, I love those exercises on our bellies for our glutes, they work so well. Spinning your legs around. Letting yourself roll slowly all the way down to the mat. Hands coming down by your side, bringing your heels in close to your fingertips. Knees point straight up to the ceiling. We're gonna lift our hips up to the ceiling in a bridge pose. When we get there, we're just opening our knees an inch or two out to the side and pulling them back in. Two inches out pulling them back in. It's a slow and deliberate move. Nice and gently trying to keep all the sides of our feet still on the mat. Nice, 10 more. 
Trying to keep your gaze just at the ceiling, your neck long for five and four, three, two, one. Rolling down slowly, vertebrae by vertebrae. You can tuck your tailbone out and then pull it in so you pull your spine towards the mat. So pushing out, extending through your belly and then pulling in through your spine. Just a little massage, releasing here for three and two and one. Keeping your tailbone tucked, lift your hips back up. This time, we're gonna walk our feet a little bit closer together and then right foot's gonna go straight up to the ceiling, toes are pointing up. We're lowering and lifting for 20. 18, keep it going. 15, little pulses. 10, trying not to put any pressure into your hands but keeping the work in your glutes for five, four, three, two, one. Stay up, just bring the right knee in and place it down next to the left. You can walk your feet in a little bit again. Left knee comes in and straight up and we're pulsing up for 20. So our last little bit here for 15. Keeping your toe pointed and 10. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bending the left knee and placing it down next to the right with both feet firm on the ground, just shaking your hips left to right, letting go of all of that for five, and four, and three, two, one. Letting that come down, pulling your knees in, shaking back and forth, roll yourself up to all fours. We're just gonna come into pigeon on the right side, so bringing your right Shin close to parallel to the front of your mat, walking the left toes back. Coming up for a breath first, pulling your shoulder blades down. You can always bring something to place under this hip if that's more comfortable. And then walking yourself down to your forearms or maybe even bringing your head down to the mat, trying to keep your shoulders pulled back. And breathing, taking nice deep inhales and exhales through that hip, thanking it for all the work it did today. <sighs> and then walking your hands back up, letting your chest be proud. Maybe you bend the back knee and reach back for it if you'd like to. Otherwise, just switching out your legs, bringing your left in, close to parallel to the front of the mat, flexing through that foot, then really walk your right foot back. Coming up first, taking an inhale, and then exhale, folding forward, coming down. Taking nice deep inhales and exhales, sending some energy through that hip. I read once that it takes three full length inhales and exhales to make any changes in a stretch. So think about that as you stretch. Inhaling, bringing yourself up. Maybe you wanna bend the back knee and reach back for it for something a little beautiful, letting that go. Spinning yourself forward, just giving your legs a shake out. Reaching your hands up, folding forward over your legs. Massage out your glutes a little bit. Nice, and then we'll just pull our feet into butterfly position, holding onto your feet or your shins, lifting your chest, and then folding forward, letting yourself melt towards your toes. Nice. Walking yourself back up. Thank you so much for taking this class with me. I hope that you enjoyed it.